Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Kibu here. So today I just want to do a quick tutorial video um, of how to remove this plastic piece, this trim. I think it's called a lower dash, either that or the um, switch panel, whichever you want to call it. It's basically, this is basically the trim that is located right to the left side of your steering wheel to the lower the lower left side of the steering wheel and so you know i've been like on the rav4 forums and i see a lot of people have questions about how to remove this completely and even though there are some instructions on there mostly just written instructions i figure you know since um a picture is worth a thousand words a motion picture is probably worth a million so I figure I'll make a tutorial video and show you guys how to remove this uh, completely step by step. So it's actually um, quite easy. The hardest part to remove this is basically this part right here. This bit is uh, the trickiest because this is where this is um, the the hood release latch or a lever, whatever you want to call it. But basically, this part here. Is where under there is a wire, it's a metal wire that's hooked to this part is stayed in place by like this here, this slot. So basically if you want to remove the that wire that connect to uh it's actually that wire is mechanically linked to the front of your hood, that's how it it uh releases the hood. But if you want to remove it, you would have to sort of like get it out via this way and then at the back, you can see, uh, let me just try to focus in here. You see there's like, it's a bit dark here, but there's like this lot here and you actually have to push it out, push it out uh, this way. Push it out, that's how you get the wire out. Um, the way you push it out is basically, you just use um, a stick with a pointy end. I used a chopstick. But I guess you have a flathead screw um, driver small enough. You can just stick it in here and push it out. That and for these is pretty easy because these are just, uh, you know, um, you just they have like tabs here. So you just squeeze on the tabs on the side and then you just push it out or push it forward. This is push it out this way. So it's supposed to pop out this way. Don't push it in. So let me find let me find one of the button that I took out already and show you guys here. This button here um, is very specific. This button is so if you're trying to put it into like different slots, it's not gonna fit. Because you guys see here, there's like these uh, grooves here that they're very specific to uh, uh, each button, these grooves, they're very specific to each button. So each of them have a different kind of groove. So, so if you try to force them in, like for this one, it's made to fit exactly into the slots. So if you're trying to, you know, just uh, move the buttons around to different positions, they're not going to fit because they're very uh, button specific. But the reason that I took this thing out completely is because I haven't I have installed an aftermarket uh, an aftermarket uh, folding mirror and there's a button for that. Um, where's that button? So basically there's a button uh, I need to make a slot an additional slot to put that button in because I don't want it to be hanging out. So that's why I took this whole piece out and I used the um, I used a Dremel tool to cut this. This is basically what I used. You can get this from um, Amazon for maybe like less than 20 bucks. And I'll put all the links in the description box below. But uh, basically I used this and I just drilled it out. That you can see, um, I guess if you wanna make it nicer, I can, you know, like sand this part, but uh, nobody's gonna see it. So I'm gonna put a button over it. You know, so it is not going to matter. Uh, but basically, you want to be really careful if you plan to do a mod like this, because um, 
it has to fit exactly with this you know just uh, <clears throat> so you want it just to be big enough that you can when you squeeze this his tabs can just squeeze in and um, click nicely you, you have to you want to hear this sound when you push it in that's how you know snapped in place solid and nicely you see you don't want to make it too big just then it's going to be loose so anyways how you remove it just push on this tab on the side here squeeze and push out squeeze it and push it out yeah that's how you get it out yeah so that's this and um, how you remove it is just this this uh, uh, screws here one one two in here I believe this one is a 10 millimeter bolt so you just need to to remove this and these two screws and yeah and these are just uh, tabs and you just basically just pull them out just, give them, just pull them out forward and um, you guys will see it you know like step by step instruction on how to remove it or put it back together uh, when I put this thing back together um, so you guys just you know you want to remove it just watch that and then just do it in reverse and basically that's how you're gonna be able to take out this whole thing and again really this is quite easy just the hardest part is just to watch out for it trickiest part is here's how to remove the uh, the wire the hood release wire uh, how to remove it from this uh, this latch lever thing but yeah um, that's it.